Hello and welcome, I am Arumba, thank you for joining me. Let's play some more malicious mushrooms in Stellaris. The construction ship has completed its most recent job. Uh, where are you, sir? Uh, you did some societal research. That's cool. Um, there's more stuff to be upgraded, but first... Look, there's more Batharian there. That'd be nice. If we colonize this, we might actually be able to get this within our zone of control. Yeah, I think we should do that. But for now, why don't you go get upgraded? Get your uh, your slight upgrade to your movement speed. It'd be pretty cheap for him to do so. He'll end up having a queue up in the in the start in the spaceport here, upgrading that guy there. We still need this, these Corvettes for sure. I'm not going to worry about those research projects. The negative balance doesn't concern me too much. While he's in orbit, he should cost less to maintain, so that's fine. We have detected the presence of primitive alien civilization on Fal Taram. We can build an observation post there to observe them. Okay, Fal Taram. Uh, Fal Taram. I'm assuming that that's where our science ship was. There they are. The Alvothari Civilization, they're in the Iron Age. The 25 planet size tropical planet. We cannot communicate with them just yet. Is this within our space? No, it is not, sadly. So, until it's within our space, we can't actually do any kind of construction there. Um, there are technologies that will increase the size of our space. And so maybe we can, we can do something with them soon. We only need to survey one more habitable world. Which I think he's just done right now. Survey complete. Creeping black mold. We gain 264 stuff and a whole bunch of energy credits. So that's one of the advantages to doing these, these missions, right? So uh, a bunch of that's going to get stockpiled. But the energy credits immediately go into the bank. So that's going to help out. We're going to get leader lifespan complete. knocked out pretty quick. We have finished our queue in our capital, which I think was the Batharian power plant. Unfortunately, it's not being worked. Let's go ahead and pull somebody off of the existing one. I mean, obviously, eight is better than four. Um, and we want to make sure that this is not a slave. Uh, do we have any power? Hmm... I think I'd rather do this. Emancipate this slave. Enslave that one. You are not enslaved. Don't lie to me, game. Update next month. What are you talking about? You, you are not enslaved. That was weird. Anyway, so now we have plenty of energy coming in from these two, which is great. Um, still lots to upgrade. System survey complete. Let's go get you upgraded. This survey, this system is very nice. Lots of stuff in there. Our third system is about to finish. We should already start thinking about a fourth system here. So we'll save up some minerals. Get our 350 necessary to make another one. Notice the creeping black mold is expanding. We're hoping to get this stuff within our range so that we can do stuff to it. There were some space amoebas here, so we'll ignore that system for now. Our military is only at 195. This colony is now complete. Uh, immediately make you into slaves. You are... Happy, happy slave people. 
Again, notice how this, this thing actually has one and two, but we only get the food bonus. So we get two plus two, plus we get the bonuses, and somehow that turns into 5.2. I, I don't know. Two plus two, plus 30% equals four, four times 1.3. Yeah, 5.2. Okay. Why does it why doesn't it just like show 5.2? Why does it show 5? I guess are they just trying to keep a simplistic interface maybe? That could be why. Ships upgraded. Okay, spaceport is now upgrading the Ah, shoot, I just canceled his job. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. I was just trying to check him out. It should not take the spaceport very long. Just days to get them upgraded. Research complete. Ships upgraded. Leader lifespan's good. We can get rid of dangerous wildlife. There we go. Border range plus 20%. The biolab would be nice, but I feel like we're doing fine on science. I want the border range right now. We're going to rush this one and stay focused on it. We also, I think, still had some some society research stockpiled, so we're going to be able to knock this thing out upgraded. very quickly, complete. which is good. Okay, so this construction ship, where do we want? Let's, uh, let's see, can we get access to some more? This is definitely within our range. We can get some more society. I like this. Oh, it's only plus one there. Shoot, I was hoping it was a single plus three. Well, let's go get the plus two. And then this science ship. The next location that's the most likely to become within our range is what? This one up here. So go survey that system. We're at eight out of 13 Corvettes. Let's see if we can continue to bolster that number after we build our next colony ship. So now these ships, if we look here, we can see they actually do have the ion thrusters. So their sublight speed is a little bit quicker. They're at 4.9. Thrusters plus 10%. That's good. So I guess, does that mean they have like a base speed of 4? I, I don't know. Construction ship has a speed of 4.1. Construction ship 3. 3 plus 10% equals 4.1. Makes sense. Paradox math. Where I come from, 3 plus 10% would be 3.3. .3. But hey, you know, it's just me. Where I come from. Also, all of our ships have been upgraded to the newest class, so they all also have the ion thrusters. Did we not research? I thought we were. Were we re... Yeah, okay, we were re researching deflectors. We don't have them yet. But I definitely want to put some shields on our ships. I love deflectors. They're really, really good. I like them a lot. Armor's good, but deflectors are also good. They're, they're good. You are now level four. As soon as you hit level five, you're definitely coming home to, 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 to do some local research. System survey complete. Well, that didn't take you very long. So you're saying there's like absolutely nothing in this system? It's just like a barren wasteland? Cool. Okay, so let's assume we colonize here. That's going to push our borders westward, so let's go survey here. We have enough for another colony ship, so let's do that. Our income is totally good. Plenty of credits. In fact, we can only store 3,000, so... I don't even know what I'm going to do if we end up with too many. Just build more stuff, I guess. We could build another construction ship. Maintain it that way. Start building more wormholes and just keep on expanding. Go to war, maybe? That's the goal, right? Build some space cows. Science ship under attack. Excuse me? That's no good. Why would you do this? Asteroid outpost? 
Military power of 113? Just like randomly found a pirate station here, huh? Well, you need to retreat. Get out of here, man. Run away. Go get repaired. Took some serious damage heading out there, huh? So apparently Dargan is not somewhere that we want to go. At least not yet. Uh, the Oathbreaker and a pirate station. Let's check these mineral riches again. Way over there. I mean, if I built... If I went up to here and built a warp post there... It's the it's the, like the farthest point away from our current jump point, so we could get the most space. It's still probably not going to get us to the unknown location there, but it could be useful. I think we survey up here then instead. Or no, actually, we just take the construction ship and we just go do it now. So the way we do this is outside of this interior ring, you send a construction ship with seventy-five minerals. And preferably, you don't want to do it near one of these jump points, because this is where some of the other species will come into the system. So you want it to be, like, off of there so that they can't get engaged right away. So, like, here would be good, or over here, maybe. The farther away from it, the the better, I think. So we'll build, like, a wormhole station over there. Science ship is repaired. While you're working on that, might as well survey that system up there then. And he is very quickly becoming, uh... You get to level, level 5 very quick. It's too bad he hasn't picked up any other traits. Normally when they level up, there's a chance they could pick up a trait, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, we started our colony ship, so let's go ahead and, before we forget, queue up a few extra Corvettes. Corvettes are 50. Alright, base cost 62, that's right, I upgraded them, that's why they're 50 now. We're still getting the discount, it's just that they're more fancy now. Kind of surprised we haven't met anyone else, but that's maybe, maybe to be expected with a wormhole nation. Because we, we don't travel very far within our wormholes. Or rather, we, we don't... We could, but... It takes resources to build the wormhole gates to, to be able to explore faster. So it's going to take him a little while to get way out there. Anomaly found. Research it. Okay, uh, next bit of pop. Gonna be a slave pop. Good. Working on food. Seems fine. This planet. Working on food. Seems good. Slave pop. Seems good. Population grows rather fast when everyone's just, you know, full of slaves. Now that our population, um, now that our demographic, we have 15 population. We're going to start seeing our research costs go up. Notice how it says the base is... No, that's not where we see it. We see it here. Normally it would cost 240, but because we have 13 pops, it costs 6% extra. So every pop past 10 increases research costs by 2%. Um, the question, though, is... We, it says we have 15 pops. Is it counting our partial pops? I guess that's what it's doing. 13 actual pops, 15 if you count the ones that are in growth. Does that mean that our population here is not growing? It does. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. We have planet size 10, 10 out of 10. We need to clear a blocker, otherwise we're wasting all of our food growth here. Whoops, that was a big deal. That was a problem. Should have done that a while ago. You are the clear blocker cost guy. I think we care more about unlocking the the better tile. 
And then also, we should probably do something with this food here. We could get some more... We've fallen behind a little bit on physics and on engineering. So let's unblock those as well. So those are all queued up. Wait, why one, two, three? No, it was supposed to be this one. Oh, okay, never mind. It, it Instead of saying, like, one, two, three, it's just saying, bleh, one, two. Gotcha. So, that was my mistake. Our population on our capital should have been growing, but it hasn't been. Critical failure. In their last message, the crew reported activity spiking as they approached the surface. Communications were cut shortly thereof, and the ship and all aboard are missing, presumed dead. Wow. That was a really unlikely event. That anomaly had a very, very small chance of failure, and yet we just lost a level 4 scientist. Research complete. Anomalies can be bad, man. We have deflectors. Research speed seems good. The fusion reactor seems good. Even better deflectors. So we're down a scientist. Anomaly research speed. Ancient civilization anomalies. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I feel bad. We need a science. We need- we can't not have a science ship, but losing that science ship really sucked. Uh, first things first, let's make sure that we get another science ship queued up. There goes down a hundred minerals and a level four scientist down the drain. Ouch. Okay, we got our wormhole. Colony ship's done. Let's go to here. Let's go colonize here. Colonize on probably on the food, despite the blockers. You don't start off with adjacency bonuses, anyways, so it doesn't really matter. So now that, that construction ship's done, notice how we have two rings, right? We can now travel to some new systems. So it's time for our military to head up here and find locations that have no intel. So we're gonna go to here. We'll do all that. And then this construction ship. Let's see, the high value mining targets. We're up there. It's tempting maybe to just send the colony ship the up to here and just see if maybe we can do something with it. It's not very expensive. Let's just let's just send him up there and see if maybe. If it's an empty system, if there's no bad guys, we could just try to build another wormhole jump point. And there's nothing here. In fact, there's a colonizable planet made out of... Ocean. Okay. Well, since you're here, why don't you go ahead and build a, uh, a wormhole station? Let's see if we can get over there. That's such a shame. Really is. Lose, complete. Losing that guy. Planet Unique Mineral Processing seems very good. Buildable Robot, Nano... Okay, so I don't think we need armor. I think we want the Mineral Processing. Right now we're still focused on Border Distance, which I think makes sense. We still have no stockpiled stuff, but we're five months away. Okay, so we save up. Two months from now we build a new science thing. We're going to have to hire another leader, another scientist. That's such a shame, too, because I was going to put that level four guy back into research. And send somebody else out on survey missions.
It's really unfortunate. Okay. Well, I'm going to take a break here. I'll see you again in the next episode. Thank you, as always, for watching. Sometimes bad things happen to good people. We'll see you soon.